so I have car I don't have Carson Wentz. <laughs> Alright, so the quarterback matchup in this, I have Russell. Yeah, I guess. Like, oh, should we take ah! a shot? You want to take a shot? No, no, I'm trashing my help. It might help. help. You stupid. What is going on, dudes and dudettes, and welcome to the very first installment of Hungover Red Zone TDs. It's going to be a little fancy football talk show revolving around uh, my very personal fancy football league. Uh, you know it's me, your boy Toomey, I'm Double G, I'm alongside my co-host, The Commish. What's going on, guys? We are here to give you your weekly dose of NFL bold picks, just kind of sharing our opinions on what's going to happen in the league, and we're going to be playing for this bad boy right here. So uh, we're just going to hop into it right now, and the commission is just, the commission is just going to explain the rules of the league. Yeah, so basically our league, we got a half-point PPR, three-keeper league. Uh, so each season you get three people from your previous roster. Uh, in order to win the league, you have to win the years two. You have to win the league two years in a row to get that big payout. So each year that we don't have a winner consecutive in a row, our boy Tim over in L.A. right now is taking care of all our money. And uh, we're just loading it up until someone takes that grand prize. So kind of a reason why we're starting this is just... Kind of have some fun with our friends, just something that we can look back and laugh at, and just just something fun to do throughout the season, and just to see if I like doing like a talk show or something like this. Maybe uh, just get a, get some practice to it, and maybe do something in the future. But now that was dumb. We're just gonna jump into our first segment here, and it's gonna be blackout bold predictions. Take it away, Kamish. All right, so my first blacked out bold prediction is that our boy Patrick Mahomes. That's right, Mitch. Your boy Patrick Mahomes Ooh. is gonna get outscored. By Jameis what the Winston. That's good news for Tyler. That is. It's very good news for Tyler. Uh, we'll get to Tyler later on, as we all know. He's somewhere, probably still sleeping this one off. But uh, Jameis Winston, he's going up against San Francisco. There's a good chance it's a high scoring game. We'll see what's going on. Patrick Mahomes has got Jacksonville, a tough defense. Jameis Winston is my blacked out bold prediction. All right, my blacked out bold prediction is going to be Josh Gordon scoring three, three touchdowns. Uh, it's going to be a shootout. Uh, Patriots, Steelers, Sunday night, it's going to be a good one. Tom Brady's going to be slinging. It's going to be a very high scoring game. I expect Josh Gordon to go off. Tim's not going to like to hear that. Mm -mm. Tim, I'm putting up 34 with Josh Gordon on you this week. All right, so you guys heard it here first. Patrick Mahomes is going down the shitter. Jameis Winston coming on up. And Josh Gordon, you got to start him. He's going to score three touchdowns under those Sunday night lights. Right, so next up, you want to move into the matchups? Yeah. All right, so throughout the show, we're going to be covering three different matchups throughout the week. Uh, the first one is going to be the match of the week, which is the one that we think is going to be the closest scoring game. There's going to be blowout of the week as well as upset of the week. So coming coming into week number one, the matchup of the week is going to be me against Corey. Uh, right now, we got a fairly good running back matchup. We've got Zeke and Devontae Freeman against James Conner and Le'Veon Bell. Uh, obviously, there's still a lot of knowns with Devontae Freeman this year and Le'Veon. James Conner and Zeke are obviously locked and loaded. Uh, none of these wide receivers on either side really impresses me far too much, but I think with this running back power that they have on both teams that we're going to have a good matchup this week. On Thursday night, I did have the Bears defense starting for me. They only got nine points against the Packers, but you know what? That's, that's all right. Nine for your defense. That's too never bad. upset. So I have Russell Wilson quarterbacking my team, and Corey has Carson Wentz. Russell Wilson predicted to get about 18, Carson Wentz 19. It's going to be very close. It's going to be very interesting to watch. Corey, your red beard is going down. All right, so next up we're going to slide into the blob of the week. And uh, I apologize, b -Lo. Over in Iowa, I think you're going to have a rough time this week. Going up against Mike, the previous year's winner. Uh, he's locked and loaded wide receiver with Julio Odell and D.D. Westbrook, who's probably going to be a stud with Nick Foles. He's his PPR guy, and obviously half point, he's probably going to have a pretty good week. Uh, like we said earlier, Jacksonville's going to be going up against Kansas City, so they're going to be throwing the ball. We all know that. So I look for a big week from D.D. Westbrook, and that's really Mike's only downfall at that point is his third wide receiver. Uh, I think it's going to be a pretty sure locked and loaded blowout for Mike this week. Mike also does have the Denver Broncos defense going against the Oakland Raiders, who actually just released Antonio Brown uh, yesterday. And so, what, what do they have on offense? Derek Carr, Josh Jacobs? Yeah, Josh oh. Jacobs, he'll be fun to watch this year. Uh, we'll see what uh, Coach Gruden can pull out there, but obviously Denver's looking like they could have a good week for the defense. Yep, but sorry, B-Lo, 
you are the blowout of the week. <laughs> All right, with that being said, we're going to hop into Thin Ice, and this is going to be our upset of the week pretty much, and Bryce, I'm going to put you on blast a little bit here. I'm going to say that Tim, that Tim takes you this week. I'm just going to be honest, Aaron Rodgers absolutely shit the bed for you, only put up 12 points. He just had a complete, a complete dog shit game, um, but Tim did have David Montgomery that got five. Uh, Tim is expected to lose this matchup by nine points, but I feel like I'm expecting Cam Newton to go off this season. And so I gotta be honest, Aaron Rodgers absolutely shit the bet against the Bears. Uh, I can't, even, I can't even believe that the Bears lost that game, regardless. But Bears look bad. I, Tim, I also have some good news for you. I bet your boy Keenan Allen is gonna go off against those Indianapolis Colts who just lost Andrew Luck this off season. Uh, it's still gonna be good though. You are, you are still predicted to win 126 to 117. But I just got some, I just got some faith for my LA boy Tim. All right, with that being said, uh, Tim, just because I'm shredding on thin ice, <laughs> I'm not worried about you for one second. Just remember that. <laughs> I've got a couple back-to-back -back running backs that are coming for you, but uh, we'll see how it ends up. If Keenan Allen goes off, you're looking pretty good this week. I'm just not. I'm just hoping it doesn't happen. But you do have Josh Gordon's going to go off for three touchdowns. Josh Gordon's going off for Don't three forget. touchdowns. Yes, yeah, so Tim, it's, I'm not worried at all, not for a second. That's all right. All right, with that being said, we're going to hop into Bad Start of the Week. So my, my pick for Bad Start of the Week is going to be C-Mac. Why the hell are you starting with Sean McCoy? He's, got, he's pretty going to get five points. That's it. Just cutthroat. Just dead and center. Why are you doing it, kid? I really don't think that Shady McCoy is going to take a whole lot of Damian Williams start snaps this week. Uh, I know he is Andy Reid's boy and always was back in the day, but just because he came back, I don't think he's going to be the week one starter. He's not going to be the lead one lead back, so... Uh, Bad start, C Mac. Yep. Not gonna look good for you. Uh, my personal bad start of the week is actually our Shirley Toombs over what? here. He's starting Corey Davis, wide receiver for oh the Tennessee God. Titans. Uh, they're going up against Cleveland this week, so they should have to throw the ball mm -hmm. quite a bit. But it's Mariota throwing the ball. But Corey really Davis is the number one guy. He's, he's the number one guy, but it's still Mariota. Looks. There's no way. He's gonna get targets it's, and, and, and it's, openings. It's, right? it's, it's a bad start. It's gonna be rough. Moving on, we'll slide into our waiver wire pickup of the week. Uh, this is someone that we think, after this week, could have a pretty steady role in the offense. We'll see what happens. We're going to try to call it out before he pops off. We'll see how well we do. Uh, right now, we've got Darren Waller, the tight end for Who's the that? Oakland Raiders. Yeah, he's a, he's a rookie this year, and uh, supposedly he's been really good in training camp. Uh, we'll see what actually happens, though, but obviously they just released Antonio Brown. Yeah. So they're going to be searching for targets. Um, they're going up against Denver, though, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, Darren Waller, he's our waiver wire pickup of the week. He's going off. Everyone's going to want him. Start him, baby. Nope. Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're going to hop into our picks throughout the week. Me and the commission are going to have a little competition between each other to see who, who just gets the most picks right, and we'll, we'll do a little competition and have a little forfeit at the end of it. I'm sure we can come up with some sort of wager that we'll have throughout the league. Uh, that'll be... We'll come up with that at the end of the year. So the first matchup we have is going to be Rams versus Panthers. Who you got? Uh, obviously, I got the Rams. It's domination. I think I'm going to agree with you. We're taking Rams on that one. All right, so next we got Tennessee versus Cleveland. You know what? I'm going to take the Browns. I'm going to believe the hype. I'm going to ride the train. I, I absolutely ride, ride the Browns as well, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Next, we're going to be talking about the Kansas City Chiefs going up against the Jacksonville Jaguars, MVP Patrick Mahomes. I think I got to ride with Kansas City. You know, honestly, I think I'm going to take Jacksonville here. I think, really? I think Nick Foles, Super Bowl winning quarterback. Really? I think. Oh, I forgot about that. And yeah. Westbrook. I don't know. I, I kind of want Jacksonville here. Anything can happen. Uh, next up, we're going to go Baltimore versus Miami. I definitely have Baltimore here. Miami's trash. Yeah, Miami's just straight up garbage. They're going through the dumpster. Josh Rosen, Ryan Fitzpatrick. You love the love to see the beard. Hate dude. to see the team. We're going. We're going with uh, Baltimore here. The next matchup we have the Atlanta Falcons against the Minnesota Vikings. Who you got? I got the Vikings. I, I'm a Bears fan, don't want to see the Vikings win, but I think Minnesota's going to have a nice little comeback season from what they did from what they did last season. See, I disagree. Uh, I, want, I want Atlanta. I trust Devontae Freeman this year. I think they're going to get it done. Mm -hmm. uh, so next up we got Buffalo versus the Jets. I got the New York Jets. I want Buffalo. I, I like I like Le'Veon Bell. It looks weird that he's wearing green, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm excited for his return. We got two, was it second year quarterbacks, I believe, coming in there. Uh, should be a fun game to watch. Mm -hmm. Next matchup, we have the Washington Redskins going up against the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles are taking it home. Yeah, Eagles, There's it's pretty set in stone. Is uh, Haskins named the starter? No. Who's, who's I'm... For, I'm not sure who's started for Washington yet, but I don't think it's going to matter against Wentz and that high-powered offense. There's too many weapons. Mm -hmm. 
That's true. Yeah, next we got Colts. No Andrew Luck versus the Chargers. Obviously, I want the Chargers. Yeah, char Chargers, it's a, it's a pretty obvious pick there. Obviously, I also have the Chargers. A big Chargers fan. Got, I have family in LA. I don't care that you broke your elbow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay with them. All right, so the next matchup we're going into is the Cincinnati Bengals and the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, I definitely have Seattle here. Uh, Seattle's my start defense of the week. I think they're just gonna dominate. Mm -hmm. I gotta go with the Cincinnati Bengals here. I think wow. I gotta stay with my, my ginger brother, Andy Dalton here. Right. The, I gotta stay with them. That's, Going, that's we're seeing the Bengals rise up. To say the least. Mm -hmm. Next up, we got Detroit versus Arizona. Um, this one's hard. I yeah, this one is tough. I'll Kyler go. Murray, you don't really know what you're gonna expect from him. You never know what to expect from Detroit. They can either put up 40 or mm -hmm. four. Matt wow. Stafford can sling when he wants to. I'm, I'm going to say Arizona. I'm going to go against the NFC North here. I want, I'm, I, want, I, just, I want the Arizona Cardinals to win. Kyler Murray going to pop off. Three touchdowns, two throwing, one rushing. I'm going to say it. I want Detroit here not to just argue with you. I just don't know what's going on. But I hope David Johnson gets that rushing touchdown. Yeah, there you go. Uh, the next matchup we're going to hop into is the New York Giants against the Dallas Cowboys. Who you got? Uh, Zeke and the Cowboys are running at home. I don't think that's much of a game, honestly. Mm -hmm. Me, I have to agree with you too. Giants, no Odell. It's over. It's over for him. Start Same. the rebuild. Next up, we got San Francisco, Tampa Bay. Like I said, James Winston's popping off. I want Tampa Bay. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with you. I'm gonna agree. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Mm -hmm. Garoppolo's demise. It's mm -hmm. it's there already, I guess. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna hop into the Sunday night game, which is mm -hmm. gonna be the New England Patriots and the Steelers. Like I said, Josh Gordon three touchdowns. I do like the Steelers though. I need to see my boy Juju go off as well. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the Steelers. Dude, no, I'm not. Josh Gordon's going off for three. It's gonna be a shootout. I'm, I'm not even gonna hesitate. I'm not betting against the Patriots. Not a chance. Okay. I'll take the pass. Nice. All right. Next up on Monday night, we got Houston, New Orleans. Should be should be a gun show. I'm excited yeah. for this one. Deshaun Watson, Drew Brees, Alvin Kamara. Should be a, should be a really fun matchup. I think I'm gonna go with the Saints though. Drew Brees is just coming off one of his hottest seasons. And I don't see anything slowing him down. Yeah, Houston's made a lot of changes recently. I don't think Houston's got much of a chance against that defense in New Orleans as well. So I think it's going to be a good week for New Orleans down there. Last but not least, we got Denver versus Oakland. Who All you right. got? I have the Denver Broncos. They just the the Oakland Raiders just coming off a of hard knocks. AB just got released. There's just nothing going right for them. Nothing can. I wish I could go against you, but I completely agree with that. I think Denver's going to be just fine this week. Joe Flacco. Tim, he's not elite. The fuck you say to me, you little shit! But he will win. Joe Flacco is elite! No, he is he's elite. not. He's not elite. Super Bowl champion. No, no. We were just talking about this yesterday. We did have a pretty heated discussion. <laughs> we're not getting back into it. No. I don't want to throw fists in. No, no. Alright guys, so this is going to wrap it up for week one of Hungover Red Zone TDs. Like I said, just kind of starting this up, just, just to see what happens. You know, we're just going to have some fun with something. Uh, Corey, eat shit. Lick a, lick a nut, suck my nut. You're gonna lose. Tim, you're gonna feel so alone out in LA after I beat you again this week. Get ready.